On. Uh, Rajan Lakhani is head of money at the Smart Money app Plum, who delivered an open letter to Downing Street this month calling for action on childcare. Rajan, hello, welcome to the programme. Hello, thank you. What did you want and what have you, have you got? Well, today's a massive step forward for uh, childcare provision. So we were t- asking for extended um, hours for childcare and trying to overcome this cliff edge after parental leave. So after nine months, the state support for childcare all of a sudden stops until your child is three years old. So we're really pleased to see today that the government is committed to extending childcare or free childcare from nine months onwards. So that's a big change for us. The other thing we were calling for was uh, improved communication around childcare. Um, a study that Plum did found that 70% of parents find childcare inaccessible and confusing. And we're hoping alongside these changes, the government are going to better communicate the support that's available for parents so they know what's available and they can take advantage of it. So just to be clear, uh, for those who haven't heard it, there'll be 15 hours free uh, for two-year-olds from April next year and then that that will be extended to those over nine months from September next year. Then eventually by September 2025, all under fives will, will be allowed 30 hours free nursery care. The, the people have been in touch already saying it's fine in principle, this Rajan, but not everyone can access it for a start-off. Yeah, and I think that's going to be the key thing, how much support the government are going to provide to the childcare providers, because this will need to be funded properly. So adequate funding is going to be the absolutely key issue to making sure that these free childcare hours are going to be available uh, to parents. And, you know, the government have said that they are going to be providing some additional funding and there will be uh, the incentive payments for new childminders. So there'll be more childminders available to provide that childcare provision in the workplace. So doubles in the detail. Hopefully that finance will be available from the government to make sure that these free uh, hours are available. And like I said earlier, it's a phased um, rollout. It's going to be over the next uh, two and a half years. So for people this year, it's still going to be very challenging. The costs aren't going to be coming down. So what we're hoping for is the government will announce some more short term support to help people in the here and now when they're facing really high childcare costs along with the cost of living challenges. Well, that's it. We've had people contacting the show saying they've, they've got their children through childcare till over the age of two to suddenly find out that other people are going to get a, a, a substantial amount of it free in the future. It's uh, it hurts. Yeah, I can imagine that, um, and and that will be the case. But for a lot of parents who just recently had children, it, this is going to be a benefit uh, for them as well. And it's at least for those uh, our parents, it will make a big difference. And for women in, in particular um, as well, you know, there's been a lot of research done, and one of the key factors that stopped women um, coming back into the workforce has been the lack of uh, childcare available um, once they've had their child So um, and, and parental leave has ended. So I think this will make um, a big difference, but it is going to be phased over two years and we really need to see that funding come through from government to make sure those uh, free child care hours are delivered mm-hmm. and there isn't the additional costs um, pushed on to parents outside of those childcare costs as well. Well, again, we've had a text to this show saying that's what some nurseries do, actually. What yeah. um, what guarantee is there that the uh, th- that more people will be incentivized in, in, into child minding? We've said that the payment's going to go up from 646 to 951. Um, uh, uh, sorry, a £600 incentive for child minders. Sorry, I'm just looking at the wrong line there. What a 1200 quid if you get the job through an agency? Is that a guarantee that more people will be drawn into the... Uh, into that role? Yeah, we hope so. We hope it will make um, a difference. Uh, wages are increasing, so that will in, it, in itself be um, a difference as well. That's, that's one of the problems for childcare provision is that there aren't enough people able to provide it. So with the additional wages that are required to bring child um, our minders into the industry, allied with this extra incentive uh, from the government, hopefully that will make a difference uh, to, to childcare provision uh, moving forward. OK, Rajan, listen, thank you very much indeed. Rajan Lakani there from the Smart Money app Plum on the issues surrounding childcare. Do keep your thoughts coming in on that. Uh, 85058 at BBC Five Live. Send us a WhatsApp voice note. Roxy spoke to us a moment ago. Uh, 08085 909 